Okay, guys, hello, and welcome back to this beautiful channel here. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you and the comments you give and the likes, all that good stuff. I enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, one of the most important videos of the week is, of course, the Commodities Weekly Closes. Um, again, what a week for gold and silver. Holy smokes. Um, also, copper is flashing some really, really good signs. I think oil has bottomed palladium. Is doing what we're looking into. Also, platinum, I mean, across the board, it looks really, really, really good. Um, I think the next wave of inflation is really start trying to trying to show its signs here. So we will feel that pain within roughly 18 to 24 months. Silver, that was the two, two weeks before we had that move there, came all the way down, breaking down here. And then Powell had his statement last week on Wednesday. Uh, the FOMC statement, and it was dovish as hell. So we all the way back up again, and now we're just retesting that red band there. If it holds, stunningly beautiful. Then again, we are going to charge against that twenty-six dollar mark for silver, gold. Good old gold here again. Same thing. We had that huge surge two weeks ago, coming all the way down. Bit of a faggy below that important green trend line there, and now with then Powell came on, did his thing, and then boom, green all the way up to a very important, we have this blue channel here, a retest right there, rolling over uh, for now at least. Again, we have this beautiful candle here. So as long as we hold uh, 1,950, give or take, excuse me, 1,975, then it's all good, especially holding that green, green um, trend line right there, then we are good to go. Um, so yeah, that is definitely one something that I'm looking at. But you know my take on gold, we are going way higher. This is the beginning of the move to 3K. Not tomorrow, not next week, but I think it will go faster than people might expect. Gold to silver ratio. Again, this is the daily. I want to show a bit more detail. We had seven, six green days in a row here after that move down. And then we went sideways. Powell came on and then he reversed it all. So you can see the blue trying to squeeze how well defined it is. And I will say this, I will say this. I think this is going to break down, meaning silver and gold will start a big run to the upside. And I can assure you that when and if this sideways action here, all this juice, all this energy results to the downside, Gold and silver will run faster than most people actually can imagine. Same thing. This is the two-year period. Remember, remember, this is two-year-long sideways action into a squeeze. Looking at 2008, look at the move. Look at the move. Uh, down here again, and then we had the exact same sideways stuff here. You have the squeeze right here. Very identical. Very, very identical. And then you had a big, fast move down. And this is only over one year so now we have two years worth of compression instead of one and given the scenario where we are today how the world is looking this will be a lot more violent and that it will go a lot longer uh, and yeah it will go for a longer time than this um I'm, I'm very excited again here again if we break to the upside obviously the other side of the coin will hit and we will have huge um um, a huge drop in gold and silver also in the indexes because this means if this breaks to the upside that means that there, there is so much fear in the market that, that the nasdaq and so on will just go down in value same here this was the big scare in 2020 and again this is where indexes lost i don't know how many percent uh, 40 50 percent if i remember correctly so uh, definitely if this spike happens here then everything will plunge uh, maybe not the dollar and some maybe rates or not the, the rates but the 10 year but still the dixie actually had a great friday why did it have a great friday two things it hit it hit i want to remove a lot of stuff here just so it doesn't get it is not too messy for you guys there it is i'm gonna remove yeah it actually hit that internal golden trend line here we have the upper we have the lower this is green for support but however uh, i think it, the views are there so what happened friday some fed dude came on to CNN or whatever and talking actually reversed everything they said two days before 
that they were looking to increase rates and, and so on, yada, yada, yada. Maybe they were not too happy how the market responded. So they send out one of their peasants to, to, uh, to do some damage. And also we had that technical support and plus his, his speech definitely gave a bounce here. Uh, but again, it was also purely technical. We, we expect, expected a bounce here and we got it. The bear flag is broken. And the target is still way lower. So let's see what how big of a bounce we get here. But ultimately, I think it will roll over um, for the Dixie. And again, that will set up the events that we have been talking about for gold and silver and the, the gold to silver ratio. The 10-year, uh, again, down not much here. Let's look at the weekly. All I can say is, looking at it here, the trend has reversed. Uptrend is broken. And now we're looking... Uh, for much lower rates, I think we will go down to 2.5 at the end of this move, give or take. And now we are at roughly four. So, uh, so yeah, this is the start of something big. It won't go in a straight line, obviously, but uh, but definitely there will be some bigger pullbacks. But definitely the trend is down on the weekly. Um, but we are getting to oversold conditions on the daily. Again, nothing goes in a straight line, and we will see bounces on on the way up here, on the way down. Excuse me. Oil here with a great hammer candle here at the low, all the way down, and we had that, that channel on here. And now it is coming back in to retest or backtest that golden trend line here. If we can get back above, then it is my take that oil is definitely going roughly to 83. Uh, if we can get out of that downtrend channel there and get a, getting back above the golden there. Uh, I think this is the bottom for gold. Oil, excuse me, you can also see the lows here. We have so much support all the way and everyone was bearish but definitely i think that this could be the start of something big you can see it here on the daily that is our golden trend line all the way up to here obviously and you can see that we are now testing it once again so if we get above roughly let's call it let's call it 72.5 then i think we're back above and uh, then it should be a charge to that trend line and then we will see what happens but definitely Big time bottoming here pattern. Also some divergence on the daily right there. Move down, move down. So we have we have a good recipe here for, for oil going higher. Uh, and possibly in the short term, all the way up to, to 83 in my view, which, it's, which is the previous neckline uh, from that move right there. Palladium, we need to talk palladium. We need to talk palladium. Why? Because now we are very, very interested in palladium. If you're seeing my videos and my Twitter posts, you know exactly why. Why? I will explain. This is a falling wedge. That's of, that's a bullish formation when and if we break. So two things can happen. We can break to the upside, yes, and then we're we are bullish. Or we can have a capitulation move coming back in and then we go higher. We had the first start here, came back in, and then we had once again one more move also creating the divergence, which is beautiful. And last Friday's candle, holy smokes, that's a biggie. Well, the last two days, excuse me. And now we're zooming in here on the on the daily. What we're looking for now is to make that move up here and then some sort of pullback. And that pullback will be very important. And that is actually very often when you should buy into uh, a stock that looks like this. You can you can you can buy the break obviously, um, but again what I'm what I usually do is I want to see the high and then I want to see how we pull back into uh, some bigger resistant uh, supports here um, for palladium. Uh, I think the bottom is in for palladium, and uh, yeah, I think the first step is to visit. You can see that long term bad boy here. That is where we're going to visit. So roughly fifteen hundred. Palladium is my take. Maybe it's out below, depending on how we get there. But definitely, that is my view. So a huge retest of that very, very long-term rising channel. You can see it here, going back to, uh, to 2008. So $1,500 Palladium I'm calling for next, next year, at least. Platinum, good old Platy. Same thing again here. I like what I'm seeing. We have taken out the 950 level and now with a big retest into that zone, the 950. And then we will see what happens. Um, hopefully we get a bounce here, but definitely we're seeing what we're looking for. And now we just want to 
round it higher. And then we want to take out roughly the th the one k mark. And then I think it, it it is on really to do to take out that double resistance. And then we have the big neckline, the blue neckline here at roughly eleven hundred dollars. And when that when and if that happens, then the move is set for higher prices for palladium. Definitely, we're still in the zone where we are doing a lot of hard work, as I like to call it. Um, but definitely some of the signs are here that this could be like that wall of worry that we are trying to climb here for palladium. Copper, still, as you know, above $4, very, very bullish, below 3.5, very bearish. And uh, and yeah, we are definitely going to have a, a, a charge at that high, really, um, for copper. If we get above, this is... Uh, Really bullish, and again, that means, in my view, inflation is coming straight in our face. And um, yeah, it is what it is for copper. Net gas, nothing much to mention. We came down to the to our bear flag low here, the lower trend line here. A bit of a dip below, but now we're back above again. Um, so yeah, definitely, get net gas is having, in my view, a pivot low right here. Uh, again, I could see us coming all the way down to two to two dollars, really. Um, but for now, we're having a bounce, some sort of retrace to the mean, and then we will see what happens with good on that gas. But don't th this is a bear flag. So uh, so yeah, but this is also a very long move um, and a quick move, and we are oversold. So a bounce here is is expected. How high do we go? We have to wait and see. But definitely. Yeah, I think we can go down to two here, really. Um, and then we will see what happens. If it holds, great. If not, then, man, we're looking for lower prices. And I saw this one I will give to Borak. Right there, roughly. It's a quick draw. So if this gives in, then we can actually see a tad above one for an ad gas. So sounds insane now, but definitely it it, it is possible. And uh, that is Borak that show, that uh, where I saw that one. So I will not take credit for it. Same thing for the TTF. We are at the low side of the bear flag, so nothing new. Coal, good old coal here again with a red. You can see here the we we had resistance again, so we want to break that blue line with conviction. We had a bit of a peak above here, so now we will see how low we can go or we will go. Definitely getting below the 2018 high, bearish. Then we're going down to roughly a tad above 100. But if we can break it here, then we could see a surge in in um, in coil, in coil, in coal, actually. So maybe we see something like this, you know, a big rounding bottom here. And uh, yeah, I think coal could be could be a, a great place to be. And that, and my usually ticket that I go to is BTU. But I want to see how coal reacts here over the next few months, really. Bitcoin. Still, overall, that's a massive bearish channel. However, our target got hit. That inverse head and shoulders got hit with overperformance. Uh, happens a lot. Also, I want to show you something on um, on the daily. Again, we could see a move up here to roughly 48k to, to kiss that bear flag high right here at roughly 48. Going to the four hourly, so we are now on a very low time frame. You can see here the big move up here, and then we had a major rock pull right there. Boom, down 10% in, I think, five minutes. <laughs> That's amazing. And now we're actually on the four hourly, we are bear flagging. So if you were to do this measured move, if this bear flag, flag holds out, then you could see below 40K here for that potential measured move down. So uh, so yeah, definitely, again, a strong move from 26 to roughly 45. And uh, now we're having higher highs and also divergence negative divergence with the rsi so this to me looks like a like like a like a top for now and then we'll see how how big the pullback will be for the good old bitcoin like i say always well not always but often lately on the uranium spot price we are now at 86 dollars and i think the ask is close to the ask is close to uh, 90 so we're all, all the way up here. And I do think we'll we'll come into the gap. There's a huge gap here in, in from 2007. So we will hit $100 uranium. 
we will go from two digits to three digits and uh, that is often resistance big resistance when you leave you know you go up one digit um uh, also the if we do then you can see the move is, is very stretched very oversold but but still i will certainly expect a bigger resistance uh, when and if we get to 100 um, but definitely this move is amazing and uh, yeah it looks like some sort of I wouldn't call it a blow off. Yes, a blow off for this here. And then I think we can actually be in for some sideways chop here for a long time. Uh, but again, I was also impressed when we came into the Fukushima high, which is right here at um, 73. And the pullback was only $5. And then boom, we were higher again. So definitely the uptrend is fully intact. It's just, it, it amazes me really. Um, Tiny market, very tiny. Sugar, breaking down here again. We haven't really done any major retesting of that green trend line that it broke down from. So maybe that is in the cards now. You We are oversold. Very stretched from the moving average. So I would expect you know some sort of retrace or retest of that, gold, of that uh, green option channel here. And then ultimately, I think we will go down to here, roughly 20. I've said that before. So let's see. But definitely sugar is not the place to be right now. Soybeans, I noticed a blue bull flag just before I went on. We had all this stuff here, you no know, breaking above. But look what has happened here. This is actually quite bullish. I, um, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, man, this is just one big bullish channel here. Um, so, yeah, when and if that breaks, then all this topic pattern here, in my view, uh, is, off the, if, is off the table. And we are going to, for a big move, not in a straight line, obviously, into roughly 1,500 and the lower side of the neckline. Um, which will be a massive resistance when we get there. Silver and gold against M2 money supply. Uh, the past three weeks has been insane. You know, we broke that expanding trumpet there all the way up to the neckline. We have it very well defined. Huge move down, you know, with the uh, shenanigans that happened uh, Monday, two weeks ago. And now we are actually, right now, trying to get back above. You can actually see we came a bit of above here. So we are now right up. Uh, right now we are right on the trend line of the trumpet uh, trend line there and the big move will happen for gold in this ratio anyways when we get above that very very well defined inverted head and shoulders it's just the symmetry is perfect so this has very high odds also given the fact that we have broken that huge downtrend channel bull flagging there it's just to me this is the bottom that we are working for for gold excuse me for silver Gold, same thing again here. The long-term trend is broken from 2011. Blue bull flag broken, and now we came into, we had some a trend line there, a bit of an overshoot, and now we're down again. But definitely, in my view, the emotion is set is, uh, is set here. And um, yeah, gold and silver, I think, is preparing for a big move. Uh, I would be insanely surprised if my take on this at the moment is not correct. Um, given the fact that we looked at here, this coiling here, there's just so much um, proof, well, not proof, but signs that this really is the time to be in gold and silver. Uh, again, always do your own due diligence, but um, but I definitely like gold and silver here. Uh, silver above 26 confirms it, and I think if gold can get back above the highs at roughly, uh, I will, will even call the, the highs, you know, 2000 and, um, and, uh, and 70. The three highs we have made there then it confirms it in my book so we are actually somewhat close in my view what a week um especially wednesday when powell came on and the fomc report came out so uh so yeah golden silver miners looks fantastic it really does but that is for a different video guys i appreciate you staying till the end if you did have a great one and we will see you in the next one guys bye